One method you could use for memorizing drugs is to go ahead and search a brand name such as Lasix. Go to Google Images and then you'll see Lasix furosemide pop up in several images. So with this method, you could see that you're gonna to start to associate the generic and the brand names together. So here are just some Google images that I put together. So for example, Lasix furosemide. So when I see these together, I'm gonna to start memorizing that furosemide's brand name is Lasix. It's a loop diuretic and it's an antihypertensive. Here I see a tenolol. So now I could test myself the tenolol is to Norman. Here we have Bistolic, which is another beta blocker, Nebivalol, and I know that it's drug class, so that's a beta blocker, and it's also an antihypertensive. Coreg is another beta blocker, which is another antihypertensive medication, and I remember Carvedilol has the brand name that also starts with a C, so CC Carvedilol Coreg. Just looking at the tablet and visualizing Bumex, then I could test myself or even write it out like I have, like I did here, and now I know that Bumex the brand is the brand name for bumetanine. Now I can make an association between Lasix and bumetanide because these are both loop diuretics. And so I can start to associate these two together. So Lasix sounds like bumex, furosemide sounds like bumetanide. So that's another way that I could start to not only visualize the generic brand names, which is something you could definitely do if you work in a pharmacy, uh, but now I'm also starting to group meds together that have similar names or names that sound similar to each other. For example, bumetanide sounds like furosemide. Bumex sounds like Lasix. They're both antihypertensives or they are used for heart failure and they are loop diuretics. Another method you could use if you're an auditory learner is you could simply say the generic brand names out loud and you wanna make sure you mix up how you say them. So you would start off with, for example, saying, atenolol is tenormin, carvedilol, coreg, labetalol, trandate, and then I'll switch. So you'll do brand to generic. Tenormin, atenolol, coreg, carvedilol, trandate, labetalol. And this may seem like a silly way of memorizing things, but it actually really works because if you are an auditory learner and just the act of reading the name, seeing it, and then also listening to your own voice, saying the generic and then the brand and then switching it up where now you say the brand and then the generic, then that's just another way that you'll be able to make the association between the generic brand names. So to start off, I have my diuretics, loop diuretics, as well as thiazide diuretics. And then within each category, loop and thiazide, I list the drugs that go into those categories. And then here I have my calcium channel blockers. And in one box, I have my DHP CCBs, which are my dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers. And then in my other box, I have my non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers. I even have this here with a gold box to remind myself that deltiazem and verapamil, unlike amlodipine and nifedipine, actually can affect your heart rate and lower your heart rate. And so we'd have to monitor heart rate in these patients. And then next I have my big group of beta blockers and I've highlighted the common ending. You can start to get an idea how you, not only by grouping by indication, but going through first your diuretics, loop and thiazides, then going through your calcium channel blockers, dihydropyridine, non-dihydropyridine, then going through your beta blockers and seeing that's quite an extensive list. And then here I just kind of have this other memory trick that we already discussed, which is looking through Google images so I can throw those in there to test myself. So that's another method I like to use, which is just grouping drugs first by indication, then within indication by drug class, and within the drug class, you'll list your generic brand names. You can even use some color coding like I did here to remind myself of important things about each of these ones.